Hello, today we're gonna cook chicken tinga or tinga de pollo. It's a very simple and delicious dish that you can enjoy in different ways, such as in tacos, tortas, on its own. But today, after we cook the chicken tinga, I will show you how to enjoy it on a delicious tostada. This is what we will use today. I'll start by boiling this chicken with water and salt but I will be saving this liquid as a stock, so I don't want to oversalt it. Let's wash our products. This is the chipotle I'll be using today. The smallest can is seven ounces. Okay, let's prep. I'm saving the onion peels for the stock. I would say that the main ingredient of the tinga is onions, so I'll start by julienning the onion. We'll follow with tomato. By cutting off the top, I create a more stable surface. I'm just cutting them into quarters because I will blend them later. For the serrano, you can leave it whole or cut it in half. For the garlic, just clean the cloves and leave them whole. The tomato I have is on the sweet side, so I'll be using half a lime. Of the chipotle I have, I'll be using half. As chicken is cooking, we'll begin the sauce. Right here I have tomato, serrano and garlic cooking on oil. Now I will add the chipotle adobo and put it back on the flame. While that's cooking, I will cook the onion separately. Add a touch of oil and spread it around. And here it comes, the lead singer of this composition. Can you hear it sing? While I don't want a fully caramelized onion, I do want some color. Now that everything looks ready, I think it's time to blend the sauce. I'm using a hand blender, but you can use any type of food processor. I'm also adding a little bit of chicken broth, which will add to the flavor and facilitate the blending. So this is what we're looking for. Here comes the onion, and we mix. I will now set it to medium or medium-low while I prep the chicken. To save my broth, I strain it once now, and I strain it again later when it cools. Now we have chicken for this tinga, and the chicken broth for future dishes. To shred the chicken, there's a few ways to go about it. You can use a fork or two forks, but I find it best to let it cool and do it by hand. I taste and adjust the sauce that has been cooking with the onions before I add the chicken. We now add the shredded chicken to the sauce and we mix. As I mentioned, the tomatoes were a little sweet, so I'm adding a little lime juice and salt. We cook everything together for another 10 minutes on low flame. And I taste again. Good. So here's tinga de pollo or chicken tinga. I really hope you enjoy this dish as I do. I will now give you an idea of how to enjoy it on a tostada. We start by gently spreading the beans. Be careful in this step because you might break the tostada. We follow with the chicken tinga, and as you can see, the beans are also helping by holding some of the juices from the tinga, and it'll give the tostada a little bit more time. I'm spreading a little bit of sour cream and top it with lettuce. And there it is, that's how you make a tostada. Oops, I forgot a little salsa verde on top. So why make a tostada when you can make two? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy cooking and eating your chicken tinga.